there is the, the, the issue on our part is just the, with with the the uh, the, the uh, population that we're talking about, it's foreseeable that there are going to be bandages and other kinds of materials that carry blood and other bodily uh, fluids on them. Well, David, with, with all due respect, there are four or five. Just because we know the companies, there are four or five people now currently on the island we again know who's caring for them that um, have bandages and, and what you're describing as medical waste we all do if we cut our fingers and we dispose of them in our in our uh, trash cans and, and they go into the dumpster so I'm not I don't see how it's any different there, there is no separate permit we're not a we're not a, a laboratory we're not a nursing home we're not a hospital well, I, I'm not. I'm not taking a view about what permit requirements apply to a business that's on the island versus a personal home. I'm just trying to understand what it is you have in mind, so that so that I can I, I can report back to to this this board. The 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 fact that an individual who owns a piece of property has certain or no doesn't have certain restrictions is not necessarily the same as what's applicable to a business which is what we're talking about here that's why i'm asking the questions craig right no i did i'm asking the question but but a, an occupant of of banbury house who's in adult diapers um which is the reason the septic requirements are much much less per the state of maryland for the health department um those soiled adult diapers um, are no different than adult diapers in, in, in someone else's home. And they're not treated by the state of Maryland any differently. And they're not supposed to be. 